This is the Ryder and Lisa podcast. Brought to you by Yegg Property Pros. Powered by Real Broker. Get a realtor who knows. Call the pros. So I got a message from someone that said, um, who's this new woman on play? So Kirsten is now posting like TikToks on play and mm-hmm. uh, Instagram videos and is asking questions over on our Facebook page. If you don't like our Facebook page yet, like us and follow us because we have so much fun over there. Like in the comments section, our listeners are so funny. And she's rocking our evening show. Exactly. Yeah. So play evenings with Kirsten. That's who the new brunette is. On our station, in case you didn't know. And then there's going to be another girl as well that you'll yeah. hear from time to time over the next little while. But uh, Jess will be joining Mark in the afternoons. She's on mat leave right now. Exactly. So if you're like, who are these new faces? I don't recognize them. That's what's going on. That's what's happening around here. And thank you to everyone that's been super supportive because I'm just looking over at our Facebook page and like Kirsten's getting great traction people contributing to her show I, and... I feel like a lot of people have a crush on her yeah it just seems like that from the comments there's adoring fans mm-hmm. yeah are you a little bit jealous i'm not jealous but i guess it's time for me to pass the torch <laughs> i'm just kidding yeah. <laughs> you're the um, old jaded yeah, chick yeah. on the station I'm now the old withered witch <laughs> gotta start smoking and giving advice outside <laughs> Yeah, unsolicited advice. Oh, what time are you my showing opinion, up? My opinion about things. I remember when I used to prep a show. Uh, no, but actually, Kirsten sent me her demo tape years ago before she actually got on air. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if her show is awesome, it's probably because I helped to shape it. Like, it's yeah. not a big deal. It's not a big, big deal or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ryder and Lisa's 1K Wordplay. Brought to you by Out of Bounds Restaurant. We have Brianna on the phone. Now, Brianna, it wasn't you that was caller seven. Who was it that actually uh, got through? Uh, My coworker, Craig. And Craig is just the sweetest angel on earth because Craig knows that Brianna has been trying to get through for years. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's amazing. Are you splitting the money with him if you (laughs) win? I might have to share it. Yeah, I would think. Yeah, give him like five bucks. Oh, no. What? <laughs> That's a 50-50 split no, if I've ever not. heard one. Brianna can do whatever she wants because she's playing the game. Ryder and Lisa's 1K wordplay. This is how it works, Brianna. You're going to choose a teammate. They're leaving the room. They're not going to hear anything. The other host will give you five words. You have 25 seconds to tell us the first word that comes to your mind. We'll invite your teammate back in for every word that matches. That's 25 bucks in your pocket. Five bucks in Craig's. And if you hit all five of them, it's $1,000. So who is your teammate this morning, Brianna? Ryder. Bye. Brianna, best of luck. So if you're both at work right now, should you be working? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm starting your 25-second timer after I say the first word. Good luck, okay? Thank you. What comes to your mind when I say... Cotton. Ball. Slam. What is it? Slam. S-L-A-M. Slam. Door. Alligator. Crocodile. Wipe. Wipe? Wipe. W-I-P-E? Yep. Uh, Lysol. Remote. (laughs) Control. Ah, you know what? I'm going to give it to you. I'm giving it to you. I don't care. Okay, Control. You. you couldn't hear when Sorry, I... Sorry, I was having a hard time I know, hearing. and that's exactly it, right? It'd be different yeah. if you knew what I was saying. Okay, Ryder. Sounds like you did a bad job hosting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever, man. <laughs> Ryder, what comes to your mind when I say cotton? Ball? 25 bucks, Brianna! <laughs> Slam. Dunk. No. No. What? It's door. <laughs> oh. Rider. Rider. It's not just Brianna that's disappointed. It's Craig. <laughs> um, Craig would have said dunk. <laughs> oh my gosh! Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh that hard. Rider, what comes to mind when I say alligator? Crocodile. Fifty bucks, Brianna. Yes. Remote. Control. $75. Yes. 
Can we make it 100 this morning? I want to. Me too. Come on, Ryder. Wipe. Oh, no, this one was not good. Okay. It, it could be good. You never really know, right? Wipe. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with out. No. Mm. Lysol is what Brianna said, but she also oh. couldn't hear me. Like, she was like, what are you saying? Yeah, I was going to say butt. I, I know. When I wrote what? I, I, I knew you were thinking butt. <laughs> <laughs> when I wrote it, I was like, guaranteed if Ryder gets sent out, and I do use this word, <laughs> he's, he's going saying with butt. butt. <laughs> well, you picked up 75 bucks, Brianna. Thank you so much, and thank you to your lovely coworker, Craig, for letting you play. That's so fun. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, thanks for listening. Have a great day. Your next chance to play tomorrow morning at 7.50. It was my sister's birthday yesterday, and I wanted to get her something. So I just sent her a $20 Starbucks e-gift. And she was pumped about it, of course. Yeah. But you hate that idea. You think it's impersonal. Like, I'm not traveling to Fort Saskatchewan, though, to see my sister, to hand her a gift card. Didn't you pull something. this move on your dad recently as well? It was his birthday, and you just ordered him something oh yeah i sent uh skip the dishes uh dairy queen blizzards to his house so i <laughs> text my sister after she says thank you and i'm like don't forget to get your free starbucks drink because you get a free starbucks drink on your birthday but you have to have the app and you can't just download it that day because like if that were the case everyone would just be pretending it's their birthday and downloading the app every couple months right that's so kind of you so not only did you send her a gift Sir, you also sent her where she can just haul her own ass to yeah. go and get a bunch of free stuff. And then I was saying, you know what? <laughs> Ryder's ex-wife told me that you can get a free cinnamon bun at Cobb's. And she goes, I was just at Cobb's. I'm like, well, you better go back. And then I kind of panicked because I was like, wait, did she tell me that or did I make that up? So then I had to text your ex. She's like, yeah, but you have to sign up for their newsletter and you have a week to claim your cinnamon bun. So I tell my sister that. She's like, I'd rather just pay for the cinnamon bun. This is why I don't think the gifts that you've sent her... Are appreciated. No, I feel like if anyone's listening right now and you have someone celebrating a birthday soon, you don't even have to send them a $20 gift card. You say, happy birthday, and you send them the link to the article Ryder, Ryder and I created that has a list of free things they can get that day. KFC, free popcorn chicken. Mm -hmm. Montana's free dessert plus 10% off your bill. Are you kidding me? That's only a handful of things you can get for free on your birthday. So if anyone wants to just send that link to someone, that's a gift in itself. Next year for your sister's birthday, what are you going to do? Just sign her up for the newsletter? Yeah, I'm going to be like, I signed you up for Cobb's bread. <laughs> Go get Go your get... free cinnamon bun. <laughs> Coming up, we're going to count down the top seven things that suck about working in an office. If you have an opinion, or a strong thought on this, but here is uh, Buddy's rant. Okay, so the probably the worst thing about working in an office is when you're walking down a hallway, like a long hallway, and your acquaintance is approaching from like a considerable distance. So it's like someone you don't really want to talk to, but it's rude to not say hi. You have to time the exact moment when you make eye contact and go, hey, how are you? Like you have to time that perfectly right, because if you do it too soon. You're stuck shouting small talk at each other. It's like, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? How's the holiday? Good, good. Oh, but if you wait too long, it's just like obvious that you're avoiding them. Like like nobody's walking and looking at their phone for 500 feet or like staring like everywhere except them. Like, no, that's obvious, all right? So you have to time this perfectly. Um, this is really what I think about instead of my actual job. You know, this takes up a lot of brain space. Uh, his username too, <laughs> this fits pretty well. At work retire die. <laughs> That's what he goes by. So he must do a lot of content. About on... office work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Top seven things that suck about working in an office. Coming in at number seven, saying goodbye to someone, then having to ride the elevator with them after. <sighs> at number six, uh, when you get all your work done in the first two hours and there's no reason to be there, but you have to stay. And we got a text on that, too, that like fake working. The fake working, having to just pretend that you're busy. Yeah. yeah, this one from AJ says, I purposely carry a blank piece of paper around when I'm walking around the office and I just stare at it. <laughs> <laughs> and I act engrossed when people pass me. AJ, that is so funny. Or I speed up like I just got it from the printer and it's so important I need to get it somewhere else. Hilarious. AJ. Coming in at number five, the stank of other people's crappy food that they're heating up. Mm-hmm. Uh, at number four, this one suggested from Jen. 
We're talking about uh, the crappiest parts about working in an office setting. Listening to your coworkers breathe. The nose whistle. The, or just the deep breaths. There's a guy in my sauna at my gym who just like, chill out, bro. Why are you breathing like that? <laughs> Sounds like he's starting a car. Coming in at number three, standing around in an awkward group and being coerced into eating a donut because someone started working there, retired, had a baby, or is having a birthday. I don't know. I like a free donut, personally. I don't mind that. Next. At number two, having to make small talk about what you're having for lunch. We have to abolish the question, what do you got there? What do you make it? Did you make that? Leave me alone. Go away. And number one, you were adamant that this was number one on the list. Work coffee. Name a place that has good work coffee. I mean, what if you work at a coffee shop? Oh, I never thought about that. What's a show you watched when you were too young to be watching it? I watched 21 Jump Street with my daughter uh, yesterday. She's 12. Yeah, and I, I checked the rating, and it was 14A, but I didn't realize how many swear words were in 21 Jump Street. Just went and looked. There's over 100 F-bombs alone. Yikes. Yeah, And not- lots of references to, like, other uh, super inappropriate stuff. So that's a great example. Yeah. Too young to be watching something, and I think a lot of millennials grew up with that television in the basement. The kid, you know, the kids would be sent downstairs, get out of the parents' way, don't be annoying, go watch TV, and we would be watching things that we were way too young to be watching. Ren and Stimpy, what a great text. Yeah, the cartoons, I can see that being a thing for sure. For me and my sisters, we would watch Maury after school, and we would turn it off as soon as we heard our dad pulling into the driveway because one time he watched us watching it, and he said he shut it down immediately because imagine being a parent and hearing that this is what your elementary-grade kids are listening to. And you really believe that your grandfather came right up out of his coffin and he had green eyes, and ever since then, you've been scared of olives. Bring out the olives. So imagine your dad in the kitchen in the room (laughs) beside you, and he hears this kind of content. What did you watch as a kid, Ryder, and you were way too young to be doing so? Uh, I think Fridays Without Borders on Showcase. How old were you? 13. (laughs) We had a satellite dish, and Dad didn't know that channel existed, but I did. (laughs) Sure did. I can't do this, Ryder. I can't take this job seriously anymore. I really can't. (laughs) Uh, Unfortunate pocket dials. (laughs) They are a thing that can happen. Still to this day, especially with a phone that doesn't flip closed to reassure you that you're not dialing out. Ryder pocket dialed me. I just discovered a voicemail I got from Ryder. And it's so bad. Let me break it down. Are okay. you okay? Like, are you a little bit embarrassed or you don't care? Fully embarrassed. Yeah, you should be. So I go grocery shopping. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I got an hour to kill. I could use the bathroom. <laughs> Let's all become a detective right now mm. and listen to this one minute long voicemail that I got. Ready? So I'm walking. Walking. That sounds like walking. And then... Yeah, the beeping of the... Someone's, like, near the till. Yeah, we've all yeah. been in a superstore before, so we're visualizing it now. And then there's that washroom right near the entrance, right? Yeah, this is me walking in. So that's the stall. I don't know if I should air this. Like, I mean, I had to listen to it. Therefore, I think that our <laughs> listeners should have to deal with this, too. I Lisa's think I- been feeding me <laughs> Greek yogurt in the morning, even though I'm <laughs> lactose intolerant. <laughs> so it's her fault. Anyway, okay, here it is. <laughs> that was me destroying a superstore <laughs> bathroom. Not only pocket dialed to someone, but let alone you. Yeah, of course. Who have access to playing it on air like it's just all a really big mess. Are you feeling better today? <laughs> yeah. <until laughs> I think you... everyone's concerned about you. <laughs> until you give me Greek yogurt again. Talking pocket dial stories after Ryder pocket dialed me while destroying a superstore bathroom. I once pocket dialed a buddy while I was doing something else, being coming intimate. It was a hurry job, and I had the pants on still. Okay, and 
pocket dialed my buddy. He thought I was kidding. Oh, that's a burn. <laughs> that hurt. That must have hurt. Short call. Very short call. <laughs> Brief interaction. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you have a story of a pocket dial, we want to hear from you. <laughs> we got this text from Courtney that says, uh, I accidentally called my dad in junior high when I was at my boyfriend's house. I was planning to stay the night, and I told my dad that I was just at a friend's house for the night. So he came to pick me up about 20 minutes later, which was probably the fastest anyone could ever get to that location. <laughs> it seemed like it was the end of the world at the time, but now we laugh about it. That sucks. But yeah, yeah that's the dad. You know, it's a sign. Maybe, maybe he was meant to come and get you in that moment. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was meant to hear Ryder having diarrhea at Superstore yesterday. <laughs> now I know to not feed him Greek yogurt in the mornings. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Important lessons. <laughs> It's Slinky. And what you gonna do when the Hulkster and his Hulkamaniacs run wild on you? Ha! Uh, yeah! I kill me! Ryder and Lisa's Nostalgia. Brought to you by Sweet Convenience. Only on Play 107. You have yeah. a job to do. You just have to vote. Whose list is better? We're taking you back, or at least trying to. Everyone that votes is entered to win a gift certificate to Sweet Convenience, Edmonton's best candy store. Let's go. Fired up, Lace. You start us off. Unhinged after-school snacks before your parents got home from work. Cream cheese on saltine crackers? Sign me up. Melted cheese whiz on Tostitos? Sure. Six glasses of blue Kool-Aid, Nesquik, chocolate sauce dumped into a mug of milk? Yep. Your dad tying your skates too tight. Aw. That's a core memory. When your parents made you wear uncomfortable outfits for the school recital, like your first pair of corduroys, like, ugh, mom. Pretending white Tic Tacs were pills. <laughs> <laughs> Wanting a Tamagotchi so bad, but as soon as you got one, ugh, it was so needy, so you just let it die. Putting the sprinkler under the trampoline with some dish soap on top and then hurting yourself a short time later. Pretending to be asleep when one of your parents would pick you up and bring you inside after a long car ride. We are getting sentimental this morning. My last one is Orbit's Pop. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. I like it. All right. Whose list was better? I feel like this will be a hard one to vote vote for yeah, today. Yeah. So quickly, what were you for? Your dad tying your skates too tight, pretending white Tic Tacs were pills, putting the sprinkler under the trampoline and orbits pop. Unhinged after school snacks, uncomfortable outfits you had to wear to the school recital, your Tamagotchi being annoying so you just let it die, and pretending to be asleep while your parents carried you inside. The Ryder and Lisa Podcast. Brought to you by Yegg Property Pros. Powered by Real Broker. Get a realtor who knows. Call the pros. Play 107.